This might be the shortest cut in half video I ever do because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to these $30 Walmart boots. So this will be the start of the duck boot mini series. And if you don't know what a duck boot is, it's basically this style of boot that has like the rubber vamp that's somewhat waterproof, uh, made famous by L.L. Bean. So we're basically gonna cut apart the top three or four boots. And anytime I do a series, I want to cut apart the cheapest one I can find because it gives us a low watermark to compare the more expensive or the more average price boots to. And I really enjoy seeing how companies cut corners and how cheaply made some products are. So it's it's informative to help you hopefully be an informed consumer, but mostly I just love seeing what's inside really, really cheap products. Also the Black Friday sale just started today, 20% off the entire site and it's the only sale I do all year. So check it out below. Now let's go over the boot information. So the brand is Portland. The model is the Colorado. The color I got is cognac and navy. They retail for $30 at Walmart on their website and they weigh 13 ounces and are made in China. Now let's go over the information that we can gather about these boots before we cut them in half, starting with the upper fake leather. This is, looks like leather, but it's not. It's just a foam backed fake, fake leather to give it some of that squishiness. The lining is a polyester fleece lining. The footbed is also polyester fleece lining and it feels like there's a layer of foam underneath there that would be technically the midsole. The vamp is some sort of rubber. Whoop, hello. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So I don't think it's a real rubber. I, I don't think it's a natural rubber. I think it's just a man-made rubber-like substance. Um, as for the shank, uh, doesn't look like there's much of a shank in here. Now let's go over a few odd things that I noticed about these boots, starting with the most perplexing one is the tiniest little pull loop. I can't even get my pinky in there, it's so small. So I, I think it's mostly just for the look of it. The next odd thing is on a few spots where the up or the vamp rubber meets the outsole rubber, it looks like it's already splitting pretty bad. So it makes me kind of question how long these would last after you wear them for a few days and it, it flexes several times right at that uh, ball of your foot. So that's kind of a red flag. And, and I didn't find out until I actually got these and tried to put them on. These are women, women's boots. It doesn't say on the tag anywhere, and I didn't see it in the listing um, until after I bought them, but these are women's boots. But they do have a men's boot version. It looks like it's made exactly the same, just a little bit taller. It looks like it's just basically everything else is the same. So I think it's I think it's good enough, for, at least for the purposes of this video. Let's cut these in half after we talk about Magic Spoon. So Magic Spoon has sponsored a couple other of my videos, and I'm a big fan of this company because they're making really good tasting cereal that isn't terrible for you. My favorite flavor is the cocoa. As you can see, it's not here. It's because I ate both the boxes they sent me and threw away the, the packages. So it's a really great company. It's good cereal. It's expensive cereal, but you know, it's one of those things where you get what you pay for. If you want a healthy, good tasting cereal, it's not going to be cheap. And once you break it down to the amount of meals you're going to eat, it's really not too bad, especially for how filling it is. So thanks again to Magic Spoon and check them out via the link in my description. No need for a bandsaw on this one. This was might be the easiest boot I've ever cut in half. So let's see what's inside. <coughs> so 
So the first thing that really surprised me while I was cutting this apart was how not connected the insides were. You know, it's, it's literally just falling apart. The other thing I noticed was that the rubber is two different densities, which I don't think is a horrible thing, but it's just kind of interesting seeing how the blue rubber is really porous and the harder outsole rubber is not. So I'm interested to see if this is a trend that we'll, we're gonna see throughout all the other uh, duck boots or if it's just this one and it's a cheaper way to make a softer foam. You know, and that's, and that's why I, I like doing these series is because a, a one-off boot of a duck boot, I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to because I don't know every single thing about every boot in the entire world. I've just been kind of learning this as I go along. So series allow me to break down several price points to see what might have caused companies to go with certain materials and cut corners on certain things. So let's go through the layers and identify what they are starting with the outsole working our way up the outsole is that harder rubber then it goes up to the softer layer of rubber that's porous then you've got a layer of some reinforced really cheap fiberboard then above that you've got the foam and then topped with that polyester fleece lining and then as for a counter there's no counter in here there's no shank the only other thing is really the foam batting so but that's really all there is to it. Not a whole lot to this boot. And it's to be expected, it's only $30. So now let's go through the pros and cons of this boot. Pros, it's $30. If you've got 30 bucks and that's all you've got, it's something on your feet. But cons, you know, that the it looks like the outsole's already splitting apart. It's not leather, it's not gonna last very long. It's a pretty thin rubber and I don't think it's very waterproof and that's in the finale where we, we compare all three of them we're going to do a waterproof test of all, all of them combine and dunk them in the tank and see how long it takes for water to creep in but judging by the fact that the thread goes all the way through the uh, rubber to the lining that's going to leak water in pretty quickly. Another con is fake leather is, is really hit and miss. You can get some decent fake leather you know, like the Doc Martens vegan leather really surprised me. And then you can get some really cheap fake leather that's just polyurethane layer on top of fabric and it breaks super easy and it rips super easy like we see here. So overall, what do I think of this boot? I think you should stay away from this boot at all costs. If you literally only have $30 and there's nothing on your feet, at least it's something on your feet, but there's a lot better alternatives out there for a, a little bit more money. And that's not to say all of Walmart's boots are terrible because I think there's some there's some okay boots there, but I would just stay away from their super, super cheap section of, of their boots. And maybe the biggest bummer about these boots is that they're so poorly built out of such terrible quality materials that these just end up in landfills within a short amount of time. And the people that are making these boots usually aren't in the best working conditions and don't have the best wages. Kind of a huge bummer and I, I wish people, I wish there was a law to where you, you had to design products that are guaranteed to last a certain amount of time or just prove that the product that you're making is designed not to be fast fashioned to show that it's not gonna wear out after a few times wearing it because these are so terrible. And I, I probably should have done this video after the LL Bean boot because the LL Bean boot's made in America. It's made out of high quality materials and it's only, I think like $80 more. So if you enjoyed this little extra bonus episode, consider liking the video. And if you're not subscribed, do me a huge favor and subscribe because it, it makes all the difference for this channel and being able to grow it. So thank you guys for everything. LLB boot, LL Bean boots, <laughs> LL Bean boots. This is gonna, that's gonna be a long video if I can't say that. LL Bean boots are next. So see ya.